many years. And when it comes to the politics of Kaduna State, you know, I can say a few things. Over the years, we have um, had a series of religious issues in Kaduna State. I've lost a friend because of one of those religious problems. He, he was writing his final, the day of his final exam. You know, that was how he was caught in his prime. Now, whether we like it or not, the issue of representation matters. Given the, the socio-economic context, that is the uh, social religious context that we find ourselves. In Kaduna, we can hope for a time where religion will not matter in the choice of candidates. But I want to support what um, the first speaker has said earlier, that right now, it is not such a time. I think the major challenge right now should be boosting the education of the, the, of the masses. A lot of people in the grassroots are ignorant. This killings we, we hear about is being perpetrated by most of them because they don't know, they, they cannot process issues beyond the, the, assent, the sentimental part of their brain. So we have to really work on education. If education becomes a, a very um, serious matter in successive administrations, I'm sure by then maybe we can start talking about you know, the, the, the fact that anybody can be a, a candidate, it doesn't matter where they are coming from. But I think right now, the youths and other pressure groups should really focus on, you know, making sure that people get educated en masse. And this is my argument, and this is what I truly believe, that the governor of Kaduna State should really take his time to reconsider the choice he has made. Because the choice in the long run it's a security threat on its own. It's self-destructive. So let's look at it from that angle and let's see how we can try to uh, manage the peace. Because it is one of two things. You see that the ABC goes ahead and force the, the candidacy on the people and then we have a series of riots and killings and bloodshed again. Or they pay it to the people and then, you know, we save the loss of life that is imminent because it will happen. I can tell you that it will happen because of the tendencies over the years. If you study the politics and the religious riots in Kaduna for the last 19 or 20, 20 years, you will know what I'm talking about. So we don't want a situation where after the elections are declared, people start killing people immediately because that's what normally obtains there. So I think for the safety, for, for the security um, uh, consciousness, of the state, it is important that the governor really reconsiders that position and you know tries a different candidate for now so that the peace can be maintained. That's my position. Thank you very much.